is this? That's what we drove past the first Yeah, I know, but I think it... So that's, I mean, that is unique. Maybe this is the uniqueness of this. It's got... Oh, right there. It's getting fixed, but... Oh, yeah, it's falling down. Look at it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Randonautica adventure. If you're new here, my name is Ryan and on this channel I do Randonautica and paranormal investigations. So today we've got Callie in the back, like normal. For the most part I always bring her. And then Carly's right here. But anyways guys, thank you so much for the support on the last video. It's doing phenomenal and I'm very thankful for that. You guys are awesome and I appreciate that. After not uploading for four weeks, I was expecting it to do worse than normal, but it's doing better than normal. So I appreciate that guys. Thank you so much. Please keep doing what you're doing. I I appreciate it more than you know. But anyways guys, so we're gonna jump right into this video. I don't have the intention yet. I'm gonna look on my phone, find an intention from one of you guys, drop the username, and then we're gonna start up that intention. Alright guys, so the first intention is going to be Lost Object, which was given to me by a subscriber named Ann Berlin. So we're going to go with that intention. I like that intention. I feel like that's a pretty good one. You know, there's lots of lost objects out there. So Lost Object is the intention. We're going to use... Should we use the tractor or what? I don't know what we should do. The tractor, void, or power. A tractor. A tractor. Okay, we're going to try out a tractor. A tractor? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Oh, no way. Do I have not have any tokens? How? Oh, I didn't reclaim my oh. free tokens, apparently. Okay, I didn't have any tokens there, guys. All right, so we're going to do a radius 8 kilometers. That sounds like the money spot right now. 8 kilometers. 8.01. I couldn't get it exact, but I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so lost object. We're going to need to think deeply about it. Someone commented that, and I actually agree with that. Mm -hmm. If we think deeper about it instead of like, because I'm kind of out of it sometimes, like looking around because I'm curious about whatever and ADHD and yep. So, like focus. Lots of random knots again. Okay, random nautica, you need to work on your servers. Seriously. Like, whoa, that's a lot of random knots. Like, I've been getting this nonstop. That doesn't make any sense. But yeah, okay, cool. There's a lot of random knots. Cool beans. Let's get a couple more servers. Okay, let's try power, I don't know. Did it say it again? Okay, we actually got a point. All right, we're gonna head there now. So we got a Z-score of four point one seven something's in the ditch. Yeah. The dog's like obsessed with the ditch, just like staring down into the ditch. Yeah. I'm gonna go look. But the Z score is negative four point one seven. The power is four point five eight. Radius is hundred and ten meters. So we start the journey. Something's out there. You guys wanna come with me to go look? I think you do. I think you guys want to come with. We're gonna go take a look. What? What? No, I'm gonna take this. Could just be the noise too. Oh no. Looks like some. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, maybe she just likes the noise. I don't see any eyeballs or nothing. Well, there could have been something there and then it's gone now. Hey, Cal. Hey, Cal. 
All right, let's proceed to the point. All right, guys, we're currently a minute away, 750 meters from our destination. So we're gonna keep our eyes peeled for things that are off to the side or whatever. I'll look at the ditches and just see if there's anything, you know, laying around that would be, you know, a lost object. Nice gravel road to go down. Nice and bumpy. <laughs> really fun. It's a lost mailbox. <laughs> Look at him. It's a wasp possum. Look at him. Look at his face. It's kind of cute. Possum. Yeah. Rain or not, can possums are now a thing. <laughs> There's literally a house right here, right within our radius, and their lights are all on and stuff, so I don't really want to be looking at their ditch. So I'm kind of looking on the other side of the road, because I don't think anything would be lost right at their place there. Where you're looking is right by your vehicle. Yeah, I'm just, just looking. Main thing that's in this radius is that Whatever this thing is, shooting down at the ditch. Not that I can see. What the hell is this? That's what we drove past the first Yeah, time. I know, but I think it's like paintball, eh? Yeah, probably. Paintball or airsoft. That's cool. Well, I don't know if there's anything here though. Oh, look at how big it is. There's like stuff back here too. This is like the edge of a radius now. You'd be like, oh. Radius. Like I said, I'm not gonna shine my light towards those people's shells. Oh, that's kind of a bust. If it was in a different spot, of course, I'd get out and look. But I don't like doing that to people. I know what I'd be like if someone was just outside with a flashlight, yeah. like driving really slow by my house. I'd be like, okay, what the hell? What are these guys doing? Look at that thing. What is that? That's a dog. Yeah, it's probably their dog. Yeah, it's a puppy. Kelly's like, ooh. That was a little guy. Yeah. Whatever. But we'll try lost object again, guys. We're gonna go to a different area, and then we'll reload a new oh, point. It's blurry. Oh, oh yeah, there it's, we go. it's been glitching out like that. I don't know, especially when it's bumpy like oh, this. Oh gosh. Feel the what? My bone. Her bump. Her muscle bump. She's got the guns. No baby bump. No babies. Alright guys, so we're going to do lost objects again. Or lost object. So our radius is 6.1 kilometers. We're going to use a tractor. We're going to try it. We're going to see what happens.
Yeah, what's this? What's this? What's that? Ooh, what's that? Oh, is that you? Is that you on there? Okay, we actually got one. So Z score is 4.03, not negative, it's actually 4.03. Power is 3.3, and our radius is 106 meters. I'm gonna start the journey. See how far away we are. We're two minutes away. Okay, see you guys in two seconds. All right, you guys, so we are literally 500. There's stop sign, but I guess I know, but that guy's yeah. flying. Holy yeah. I didn't think they were going to stop. Yeah. Holy Did you see that? Yeah. What the hell? Did you record that? I think I got it. Did you turn the camera to that? I was too much shot. That scared me. Damn, I thought we were about to get smoked. Sometimes it looks good on the map, and then you get here and you're like, what, I'm supposed to roll into this guy's like back Backyard. here? Yeah, right at their Little, tree house. Yeah. Ah, this is a bust. Just turn it off. Alrighty, guys, so we are back a couple days later. We're back a couple days later. We're gonna use the intention lost object still. We're gonna give that a go. Callie really wants to be in the video right now. Look at. <laughs> Anyways, lost object using a radius of 5.37 kilometers. We're gonna use an attractor. And we're gonna generate it. So. Okay, we have our location. We're gonna see how close we can get. It's a strange spot. Okay, let's start the journey. Okay, so we are 6.1 kilometers away. 6.1. It's six minutes away. So we're gonna head. So we're gonna head there right now. And we will see you guys there. And right now. Alrighty guys, so we tried the lost object intention a ton of times to the point where we ran out of owl tokens on two different accounts. So we're not gonna do that intention anymore did our best we tried as hard as we could but we only have so many tokens so we're gonna try something different so we're gonna try unexplainable that's gonna be our next intention we're gonna generate that right now okay so unexplainable is our intention Carly's gonna load up the point right now all right guys it's currently almost one in the morning so hopefully we get better results I've noticed before in the past that late at night we got better results with Rhinonautica, so we're hoping that it's going to be the same kind of thing that's going to happen right now. try this point out it's kind of in behind someone's house but the path technically goes around their house so we're gonna see how we feel when we get there to see if we want to go down this path or not my car is pretty loud as you guys can probably hear in the video we're running it right now because it's so cool though um, that's the only way we can get to this point is through this trail so we're gonna see what we can do I hope that uh, I'm thinking we'll probably go to it but the intention is unexplainable. Alright, so what do we got here for Z-score and shit? I'll start it so you don't delete it. Oh, this thing is so covered in your lotion. Z-score is 4.21. The power is 7.16. I think that's the highest number we've had for the power. The radius is only 66.84 meters. 15 minutes away, holy crap. That's one of the farthest we've probably had. 17 minutes away. Alrighty guys, so we will see you guys in a bit. One millisecond for you, but 17 minutes for us. So, see you soon. Guys, so before we even do anything, we just came to a realization. 
So as I said, the point is 17 minutes away. It's actually 21 kilometers away, which we've never had ever. The max radius on Rainaronica is 10 kilometers. How can something be 21 kilometers away? That's already unexplainable right there. So as you can see, maybe that's why the power was so high. 17 minutes, 21 kilometers away. We won't be there till 1.11 a.m. So we're gonna go there anyways, because now this is really, it's really spiked my interest, but that's already unexplainable. That already goes with our intention right there. We've never had that before. But anyways, guys, we're gonna head there right now. We're gonna check it out anyways and see what we see. If there's anything that's worth checking out, if we can get down that path, we will. But honestly, already this point is already unexplainable. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And that's the first time that's ever happened like that. But anyways, guys, we'll meet you guys there. Alrighty, guys, so we got to the location and it was what I thought it was. Like the house was literally right tight with like not much in between it. It was a newer house. I don't know, I didn't feel comfortable driving right alongside the side of their house to get around and then drive into the back or the field because they probably own the field and whatnot. But we're gonna do the same intention again. We're gonna load up the point right now and we're gonna see where it takes us this time. We'll try a few more tonight. I already think we kind of, in a way, got the point, but we'll see what the next one has to offer. But just in general, with how long the drive was. It was like double of what we said it was going to be. Yeah, we couldn't even go like the, it was like right now, it's 124. We were supposed to be there at 111. So it took us like 30 minutes total to get to that location, so. That was a pain because we had to drive all the way around because it wanted us to go on the highway. So the route that it took us down was leading us to the highway, which we didn't want to go that way. It is what it is. We can't get off the highway and go walk through a field. You have to jump a fence and whatnot. So Curly's going to load up the point right now. We're going to sit and we're going to think hard about unexplainable, something unexplainable. Power? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Six minutes away, how many kilometers? Uh, Doesn't say. Okay, just hit start. How many kilometers? Five point six. Alright guys, so the location that we just got loaded up is six minutes away, five point six kilometers. So we're gonna head there right now and we'll meet you guys there in a second. This road is literally a one car road. Like legit. Yeah. Strange. So guys, our, our point's right at the end of this road, basically. But this is fucking weird. I don't know why this road is so small. I'm in a tiny car. If I was in a truck, like my old truck, I'd take up most of the road. We're going to see if we can see anything, or if there's anything, you know, near the road that might be considered unexplainable. private property. Like we can't catch a break with that shit. Yeah, no, we can't. It's always private property. Everything off the field.
Alrighty guys, so we're changing up the intention. We're gonna use the intention unique. We're only gonna do a few more tonight. But I wanna show you guys this. So our point is right here. Okay, as you can see, we're not gonna go to it because it's in the middle of the field. Can you see a car? So it's right there. But right next to it is a windmill. And remember, our intention is unique. So as you can see, I just find this cool. In the picture, the one wing or propeller, whatever you want to call it, well, it's like rainbow. And even like the reflection on the ground is like rainbow colored. Yeah. Which is cool. So that's, I mean, that is unique. But we're not going to go to that point just because it's a waste of time. It's literally in a field. I'm getting sick of this field stuff. We need to, we're going to have to do some traveling, go somewhere else. Oh, there's something cool in these woods that are right by it, though. And we're going to use unique again. is the uniqueness of this. It's got a stake on it. Someone uses stake. There's nothing in the field, obviously. There's never anything in these fields. Well, we always get fields. Well, we'll check the next, check the next pole. And maybe that one has a, uh, a sign on it too. And that would debunk this being the point, but I think that's what it was. Well, this one does have a sign on it. So I guess that kind of debunks that. But it's right in between these two, isn't it? Yeah. Does the next yeah, it was, one have a sign? It was right in between those two. So maybe it's the unique blank signs. There's literally nothing on those signs. Yeah. This one has one too. Yeah. It could just, well, I mean, they would all be in the radius, so it could but just this be, oh, this one actually has partial no trespassing on it. Huh. Well, they all have signs. Huh. Let's see, though, does this one have a sign, or was it just... 
just so street bold. I don't know. I don't think no, this one, one does. doesn't. <sighs> That's hard to say. I really don't know if that was meant to be our point or what. Like, oh, well, it was our point, and those would have opened in the radius. Yeah. But is that what it wanted us to see? It was a couple blank signs? Like, all these signs are unique. Like, these poles are unique because they have blank signs on them. They don't want us to have the trespassing sign on them. I don't know what to say about that. Yeah, no, that was weird. Strange. Alrighty guys, what's going on? It is the next day. Like I said, we would probably be playing today and I'm gonna finish editing tonight and hopefully the video will be up either tonight or tomorrow. But anyways, we're gonna do the intention abandoned. Carly wants to do that intention and we wanna find new locations anyways. So we like to do the intention here and there and see what it brings us to. So our first intention is going to be abandoned. Abandoned, abandoned, abandoned. Manifest abandoned. You can really envision that in your mind. An abandoned place, an abandoned house, an abandoned barn, an abandoned car. There's lots of abandoned. So our radius is going to be five kilometers. We're going to use power. Oh, we already got a point. We'll go and we'll see what we find. The Z score is negative 4.04, .04. the power is only 3.62, radius is 150 meters. We are six minutes away and 4.6 kilometers. So we're gonna get going to this location here and see what it has in store for us. Oh, Carly's phone's in there. <laughs> I know fitting now. All right. Okay guys, so we will meet you there in a sec. Alrighty guys, so we are 400 meters away from our location. It's right up here on the left hand side. that abandoned I'm sure they don't use it so oh right there it's getting fixed but in the meantime it's probably abandoned right yeah I would say that worked there was that barn and then I would say that house probably for now is abandoned like no one's living in it but it looks like they're fixing it up yeah it does but mainly that barn now is in the radius anyways because that's where our point was on that side of the road probably 150 meters away from us probably right on the edge of our point but either way, that intention did work. Maybe we try it again. The abandoned intention. Yeah, go out a little bit more away from yeah. the water. Well, we have to go back that way. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay, well, we'll start it up then. Yeah, we'll see what we can do with where we're at. Okay. Start up another one. Alrighty, guys, so we're going to use that intention again. We're going to load up another point. And then uh, we'll meet you guys at that point. All right, we're going to use a 3.8 five kilometer radius we're gonna use power again just because power's the best 
Power is legendary, okay? It is all the power. The power of the Randonauts all combined into one is power, okay? That's that's just the case. The other ones, I don't think they even work. At this point, we don't get anything with them. So, abandon attention again. Just working like a champ out here. Nobody likes to play on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday's just not the day to play, I guess. Because every other day that we play, it's too many randonauts, too many randonauts, too many randonauts. All right, so we're our Z score. Our Z score is 4.57. Our power is 3.56, and our radius is 85.76 meters. Let's go. Start the journey. Opening the Googlers maps. It's only three minutes away and 2.9 kilometers. So we are very close. So we will literally see you guys in two minutes. That's nothing. That's really quick compared to last night. Okay, so okay guys, so we are literally a second away from our intention. We just jutted down this little side road so we can kind of get a better view of what's up here. But we already drove by and there's definitely like, what looks like it used to be a building was right here across the way. Maybe a pavilion or something even. I'm not sure. I could have sworn there was a asphalt patio years ago, but it might be down a little further. So our point's literally right here. Oh yeah, it's definitely like something was here before. Yeah. Like we can clearly see that there's poles here for something. And then it looks like there was a building right here because there's conduit sticking out of the ground with like old electrical. But I don't know what was here, but something was for sure. You can see the conduit where the building obviously used to be or something. Whatever it was. Now it looks like these people that live around here just use this as a parking lot. But if you look right here, like... There was clearly something there, so this can definitely work. Oh, yeah. Just show the point on the camera real quick. So you can see, guys, the point's literally right next to us. We're right here, the point's right there. So, obviously this is where it was trying to take us. We're gonna go a little bit more inland, away from the water a bit. And we're gonna do, I mean, this intention's working well, so. Maybe, we'll try it again. Yeah, we'll just try it again. We'll do abandon again. It'd be nice to get like an actual like structure that's well, like we had that barn, but a structure that we can see better, maybe a house or just a building. That'd be cool. But anyways, guys, we'll show you guys the next point once we load it up, and then we'll meet you guys there. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you made it this far, smash that like button and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Sadly, we are out of tokens. I do not have the pro subscription with Randonautica. I don't feel it's worth it right at this moment. If you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to comment and like to help promote the videos so that I, if I do Randonautica more, because you guys like it, if you guys enjoy Randonautica and you want me to do more and more of it, maybe every other week kind of thing, one week abandoned haunted, one week uh, Randonautica, and you guys are really enjoying it and you're promote, helping promote the videos, then maybe I will just go and just get the pro subscription and then we don't have to worry about points or anything like that it'll be all unlimited and we can have a huge radius versus a small one and whatnot so it'll just be better all the way around so if you guys like i said enjoyed this video and you made it this far smash that subscribe button it helps out the channel big time and also hit that like and leave a comment down below just saying that if you enjoyed it or if you hated it comment that you hated it i don't care just leave a comment below i appreciate it guys thank you so much and i will see you guys in the next one keep it real peace